Hey guys, so if you missed class today or if you are a remote learner, this is just a video of the notes that we took and the practice that we did in school today. So we reviewed density, which you've probably been learning about in science for a couple of years. Um, and density is a number that represents the ratio of an object's mass to its volume. And that's important because a lot of people think if something is heavy, then it's automatically dense. But if something is really heavy, but it also is really big, it has a big volume, when you compare those two numbers together, the density might end up being um, kind of small. So for example, in, if you were in class today, you saw that um, we took a bowling ball, a 12 pound bowling ball. So you're gonna say, okay, that's heavy. It must be really dense. We put that bowling ball in water, which has a density of one, and the bowling ball float, floated. So what does that tell you about the density of a bowling ball? A bowling ball is less dense than water, okay? So it's important that you remember that. It has to do with its mass relative to its size. So here are just some definitions for you. Something's mass, something volume. Over here um, in this diagram where we have the density formula, we're also giving you the symbols for mass and volume. It's important that you guys pay attention to symbols because when um, when you're given a question and you have to do a calculation, you need to know where to plug numbers into the formula. So you have to know if the number is a mass by knowing that if it says grams, that it's a mass. You have to know that a number is a volume if it has milliliters or it actually could be centimeters cubed as well. Um, if we're talking about something like a cube that has that has sides. Um, and then density is grams per milliliter or grams per centimeter cubed because we get density by doing mass over volume. Chemistry reference tables have a lot of important things and useful things for us. Um, if you look on table T, which is the last table in the chemistry reference tables, the density formula is the first formula there. So this is not something you have to memorize. Um, something that's also really cool in your reference tables all of the elements that exist in the world, um, they have a very specific density of their own, and all of those densities are listed on table S of the reference tables. So those are two dots on the reference tables you can go um, if the question is about density. Okay, so let's look at a practice problem. Um, 22.5 milliliters of mercury has a mass of 306 grams. Calculate the density. Okay, so I want to go ahead and I want to set up my formula. I want to plug in numbers where I'm supposed to plug them in. So 22.5 milliliters is a volume. Volume goes on the bottom. 306 grams is a mass that goes on top. And I'm solving for density, so that means the D over here is what we don't know. So how do I solve for X? I'm going to get my calculator out. If you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and get your calculator and do this with me. 306 divided by 22.5 is 13.6 grams per milliliter. Okay. Now, because mercury is one of the elements, I can actually go ahead on table S and I can check to make sure I calculated that right. But that only works if it's um, if it's an element. Okay, let's look at number two. Um, so this is something you have to be careful for. In question number two, they're giving us the density and they're giving us the volume, meaning we need to find the mass. So we'll set up your equation I need to think about, okay, where's mass? It's up here. That's where my x is. My 250, my volume, goes on the bottom. My density goes over to the side. So you're not always solving for density. Sometimes you're solving for mass or volume. You have to just be very careful that you put your x in the right spot. So to solve for x, I'm going to cross multiply. And again, guys, if you don't have your calculator yet, pause the video, go get it. And I'm multiplying 0.8765 by 250, and I get 219.1. It doesn't matter what you round to, guys. If you don't want to round it, um, 
if you don't want to round your answer, that's fine too, for now. And since it's a mass, maybe it is going to be in grams. Um, number three, they give me a density, they give me a mass. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for volume, which means my x is going to be down here. Density is 0 0.6, mass is 120. Okay, so now this one's a little funky, guys, because when I cross multiply, I'm multiplying 0.6 by x and 120 by 1. Now, how do I get x by itself? I'm going to divide by 0 0.6. That's going to cancel out. x equals 120 divided by 0 0.6. To, and it's a volume. Oh, so, going to okay. so I want you guys to go ahead and try 4, 5, and 6 on your own. I want you to pause the video and try it on your own. Um, when you're ready, I want you to come back and you can check your answer. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do this quickly since you did it on your own. Um, so density equals 40.5 over 15, and that equals 40, let's see, 40.5 divided by 15, 2.7 gram per milliliter. Okay. Next one. Next one. Next one's a little funny. Um, we're solving for density. They give us mass. Um, this time they give us. They're telling us the copper is a block, and they're giving us the length, the width, and the height. They're giving us the three sides. So how do we get the volume? We do length times width times height. Eight point four times five point five times four point six. So this one was a little more challenging. So my volume was two twelve point five two. So if I do 1896 divided by 212.52, I get 8.9 grams per milliliter. Okay. Um, number six was also a little bit of a challenging one, but I gave you a little hint here. I'm telling you that helium is an element. So let's see. Um, I know the volume is 8580. And the question asks me, what is the mass? So I know the mass has to be unknown. I can't have two unknowns. My density can't be an unknown too. But because helium is an element, where can I look up its density? I can look it up in chemistry and see. I'm going to scroll all the way down to oops. So here's table S. It is it right there at the top. I'm going to find helium, which is the second element. And I'm going to go all the way across to its density. 0.000164. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and erase this question mark. 0.000164. Okay, so now that I know the density, I can go ahead and cross multiply. 0 0.000164 times 8580 equals 1.4, and it's a mass, so that would be a mass. Okay, so those last two were a little bit more challenging. Um, now, if you are a remote learner, and um, or if you did miss school today, what we did after this was we did a lab um, where we found the density of different objects. So if you guys could um, close this up and open, um, open the lab, you can kind of go through it on your own because we were given, um, we gave you all the data. Okay, so if you have any questions, please always feel free to reach out to me, and I hope you have a good day.